You think the green snake plays with her tail in the water. Her tail is lime green, but the one that's playing with the green snake right now is a black snake's tail. In fact, this snake's tail is in the form of the great master. His true form is said to be the python god. The one who is now entangled with the green snake is the true form of the great master. In the eyes of the great master, in the eyes of the dharma master, people have become as ugly as demons due to their emotions and desires. He looked at these creatures full of bad karma. The creatures were all twisted together. He slowly said one word, human. Then he closed his eyes calmly. His face was naturally split in two, one light, one dark, both good and evil, symbolize in his unsettled heart. However, as an accomplished monk, he soon found inner peace. Standing above the water, he was free from all human emotions and desires. Suddenly he looked straight at a certain place. He spoke in a puzzled voice, Demon, this kindly looking old abbot, as if he were a man of the world, is actually a spider spirit. He has been absorbing Buddha's shade for many years. Not only is he kind, he often goes down to the mountain to help the world. He's really a good demon, but the great master thinks all demons are bad. Only by subduing them can we ensure peace on earth. The great master didn't listen to the spider spirit's pleas for mercy. He shouted great mighty dragon while offering his robe and golden mantle. He ruthlessly suppressed the spider spirit. What? The venerable master didn't expect was, the spider spirit's beat aura would not dissipate. It made the venerable master wonder, did I really take in the wrong demon? Suddenly, there was a strong wind and rainstorm. The master didn't want to believe it. He ran wildly into the bamboo forest. After entering the bamboo forest, the great master realized that there was another demon. He immediately cast a spell to catch the demon, but the sound of a woman's voice attracted his attention. A woman was giving birth in the wild. The two snakes were protecting the woman from the rain, so that the woman could give birth to her child. The master realized that the snakes were doing a good deed. He quickly withdrew his spell to calm the storm, and he went to check on the woman, but the woman was naked. She was holding her child in her arms, the woman's naked body. He was so confused that he stepped back. He was hesitant to leave, and he went to a secluded place to meditate. He was blessed with the light of Bodhi Buddha. The great master realized that good and evil are rewarded. He left the spider's beads to the two snakes to help them attain the right fruits of their lives. When he returned to the Golden Mountain Monastery, as usual, he practiced meditation and realized the way. He couldn't help but think of the women in his mind. It was very seductive. The venerable master suddenly lost his power, sensing the potential danger around him. He looked around him with an alert look, only to see many ugly-looking demons wriggling around in front of the great master, calling out his name all the time. These were all manifestations of the master's desires. In order to get rid of his lustful precepts, he went on a killing spree. His face was covered in blood, but he couldn't kill the desire in his heart. Suddenly, the venerable master woke up from the demonic barrier. He saw that a piece of gold leaf had fallen from the Buddha's face. The futon he was sitting on burned without fire. He was shocked. He was determined to break the demonic barrier. The venerable master came to the place where the spire spirit was suppressed. He decided to enter the world before he left. He wanted to release the spider spirit. The great master entered the world of redemption. The two snakes are now practicing on earth. A rainy night with thunder and lightning, two boa constrictors were lying on the roof. Only the upper part of their bodies were visible. They were beautiful women. The bottom half of them had a long tail. One is green and the other is white. They are the same to snakes that the great master encountered. They practiced hard with the help of Buddha beads. They finally changed from snakes to humans. The two beautiful snakes looked at the people having fun in the house. They looked at each other and smiled. The green snake flew in. She pulled a scarf and began to dance. The crowd gasped in amazement. White snake was attracted by the sound of reading. She gazed at Su Zion who was teaching. It was springtime. Many people were out trekking. When it was Su Zion's turn, there were no more boats available. White Snake looked at Su Zion on the shore. She thought of a solution. Raise the wine cup. She conjured up a downpour of rain. Shu Xian ran to the pavilion to hide from the rain. Suddenly, he saw White Snake's boat. He waved his hand excitedly and wanted to cross the lake. White Snake smiled and asked the boatman to moor the boat. After Su Zion boarded the boat, he looked at the beautiful white snake. He was lost in thought, fascinated by the beauty of White Snake. He promised to go to White Snake's home tomorrow. The next day, White Snake was practicing with her beads. While waiting for Suzanne to come, Green Snake still maintains her snake body. She didn't want to retract her tail. Suddenly, Suzanne jumped into the water to hide, so as not to scare him. Now she's free of her natural instincts.
drugs. Even her sister can help complaining about her. While the two sisters were fighting, White Snake realized that someone was coming to arrest them. Green Snake didn't think so. She even went to catch a mouse. It was an old Taoist priest who was passing by. He wanted to capture these two snake spirits to make elixir and use them to strengthen his magic power. The old Taoist told his two disciples to sprinkle sulfur powder around the White House. The Green Snake, which is not strong enough, was immediately struck. It went limp on the ground. At that moment, Shui Xian arrived at the White House. The young apprentice told Su Zhang to leave quickly. Su Zhang was confused. He asked what happened. They said there were two snake spirits in the house. While Su Zhang was confused, the green snake couldn't take the sulfur powder. It rolled back and forth on the floor in pain. White Snake has trained for thousands of years and is very powerful. The sulfur powder can help her. She filled up her wine cup with confidence. She raised the glass to the sky. Instantly there was lightning and thunder. It started raining heavily. The rain washed away the sulfur for powder. It saved the green snake for the time being. On the other side, the old Taoist knew he had many powerful men. He planned to escape in time and take Su Zhang with him. But Su Zhang was thinking of White Snake in his heart. He refused to leave no matter what. White Snake anticipated Su Zhang's arrival. She went out to meet him. The two of them entered the mansion and made love. White Snake and Su Zhang fell in love. Su Zhang who used to be devoted to his studies, became obsessed with men and women. He was even distracted in class, but these two weren't the only ones who fell into the river. There were also tens of thousands of people in the city. The heavy rain has caused a catastrophe. Floods have inundated the entire city. Many people were displaced. White Snake and Green Snake couldn't bear the suffering of the people. They were about to cast a spell to cure the water. They met a great magician who also came to cure the flood. Soon, they were able to separate the floodwaters. They saved the people of the city. Green Snake saw how powerful the great master was. He wanted to be with him. She wanted to spend time with him. But White Snake told her, it's impossible. The great master was pleased to see them saving lives. After the flood, the plague spread. White Snake opened a medical clinic to cure the sick and save lives. Everyone marveled that Su Zhang had married a good wife. The two of them had a wonderful time. They showed their love in front of Green Snake. Green Snake can't help but want to experience human love. But Shui Xian is the only man in the family. So Snake went after Shui Xian. She not only wore the same clothes as White Snake. She even tried to get along with Su Zhang like White Snake did. She fed Su Zhang grapes. This weak old man couldn't stand the temptation anymore. More. White Snake sees all this. She told Green Snake to be faithful to her love. She told her not to mess with Su Zhang, to choose another honest man. But Snake thinks it's too much trouble. It's better to follow White Snake. The two of them were playing in the bath. Green Snake even showed her tail, but Shui Xian came home and saw it. He was scared out of his wits. He ran away in panic. Su Zhang wanted to buy Xiong Huang wine to test his wife at home. But on the way there were people to thank his wife for curing everyone. He was impressed by these people. He gave up this poor attempt. Su Zhang got drunk on the street. He was picked up by White Snake late at night. He finally accepted the fact that his wife was a snake demon. White Snake dragged Green Snake to a place to talk. Tomorrow is the Dragon Boat Festival. Every family will drink Xiong Huang wine. The snake demon will reveal her original form after drinking this wine. He told Green Snake to go out of town to avoid the storm. But Green Snake is not convinced. White Snake laughs and says she's been practicing for thousands of years. Green Snake is lazy. He couldn't even stand the sulfur powder. But Snake was stubborn and didn't leave. She hid in the lotus pond at home. But White Snake couldn't persuade Green Snake. So she left her alone. She went out to fetch her husband Su Zhang. When they arrived home, they went to the lotus pond to drink wine. White Snake wanted to prove she wasn't a snake demon. She drank two glasses of wine in one go, but Su Zhang had feelings for White Snake. Although he was scared, but he didn't want to hurt his wife, he poured the wine into the lotus pond, but the green snake drank it in the pond. He accidentally took on his original form. When Su Zhang saw the snake's original form, he was scared out of his wits. He died on the spot. White Snake was eager to save her husband, planned to steal the Ganoderma from the Kwanluan Mountains. Seeing this, Green Snake accompanied White Snake to go with him. They flew too fast in the air. They attracted the attention of the Great Master. He followed them all the way to the Kwanluan Mountain. Green Snake took the initiative to distract the Master so that White Snake could steal the Ganoderma. He went back to save the others. The crane was about to arrest the Green Snake, but the Great Master noticed the beads in Snake's hand. He saved Snake's life. They fell into a waterfall. Green Snake was going to use a beauty trick on the Master, but the Great Master was not impressed. But the Venerable 
Honorable Master made a bet with Snake. If Green Snake could arouse his desire, he would let her go. Green Snake tried her best, but he did. But the Great Master was enraged. Green Snake fled back to her home. She was so happy to have defeated the Great Master. She was so excited that she told the White Snake about it. White Snake was afraid that she blood. She told her to get some rest, but she didn't feel like sleeping. She was skeptical of White Snake's words, but Chewie Xi'an came to her. The two of them got together, but White Snake saw them. The two sisters fought. In the end, White Snake was the stronger one. White Snake confessed to Green Snake, I'm responsible for what happened. I'm also responsible, but it's up to Green Snake to take care of her because she already has Suzanne's flesh and blood and human tears and Green Snake can't cry with all her might. The Great Master lost to Green Snake has found Suzanne. He wants to help Suzanne eliminate the demons. Suzanne promised the Master on the surface. In fact, he rushed home immediately to get them out of here. But White Snake and Green Snake are still angry with each other. Both refused to leave. Suzan could only tell the truth, kneeling on the ground. He begged them to leave. He was about to go out and check the situation for them. He didn't expect to run into the Great Master. Seeing Suzan's stubbornness, he took him back to Jinshan Temple to shave his head. White Snake and Green Snake came to ask for the Master's help. They made the river flood the temple. As a result, White Snake had a birth defect. Not only could she not maintain her power, she gave birth in the water. When the Great Master saw this scene, he couldn't believe that White Snake had become a human being. He tried his best but could only save White Snake's child. White Snake was crushed under the Thunder Peak Pagoda. At that moment, Green Snake found Suzanne and realized that his sister was dead. So, she killed Suzanne with her sword. The Great Master was ready to do justice, but Green Snake pointed out he killed all the monks in Jinshan Temple. He was also at fault. With tears in her eyes, Green Snake asked Cod, What is love in this world? I guess even the world doesn't know. Then he jumped into the water and disappeared into the sea. The great master was left alone, looking at the tragic situation of the people.